Mahatma Gandhi said, the first and foremost duty of independent India is to ensure that the God of bread is available to everyone in the country. Well, I can't uh, really put my finger in one thing that has worked well, but clearly some initiatives taken sporadically and uh, in some states have worked well. The midday meal scheme has worked well. And the ICDS where states have paid attention to the requirements of children has worked well. The integrated child development scheme, which is one of the most unique initiative, perhaps the only one of its kind in the whole world um, that is happening in India, goes a long way in, in uh, delivering what we are looking for. We have a very supportive and comprehensive policy framework in this country. There is a very strong judiciary guidance and directions from the Supreme Court to expand and to strengthen food-based schemes and especially nutrition. One thing is clear that at the time of independence in 1947, the average lifespan of an Indian was less than 30 years. Today it is about 64 in India and about 74, 75 in Kerala. This doubling of more than doubling of the lifespan itself is partially due to improved nutrition uh, and healthcare, certainly uh, the progress in preventive and curative medicine. One of the most helping factor was the Green Revolution. Although there are multiple factors which work with even when the food is available and perhaps all those factors may not have worked but at least uh, Green Revolution and the White Revolutions and the Egg Revolution may have contributed in great deal. The effort that the country made in overcoming this deficit and having sufficient national food production is really remarkable and on a in a, in a global context is a, is a tremendous success story. I can say that in food fortification area, I am very motivated by people. And I will say that in a successful story, I will say that in India, for women and for women, the question of hydrogen salt is more than enough. What has been working extremely well is increasing the general awareness about health and nutrition. The country has not have to do And have to do India today is going through a transformation. On one side, we have undernourishment deaths. On the other side, we have overnourishment deaths. But I think the undernourishment issues, the problems, could be a thing of the past in the near future if we tackle this collectively and holistically.